Gosh, 930, we're like, we got this. We are here. We are on time. I'm so proud of us. Awesome job. Good morning, YouTube. How we doing? Good morning, Instagram. All right, you guys. Happy Thursday and welcome. We'll let people pop on here. I'm Lindsay from Nourish Move Love. I have the amazing Rachel with me. Hi. And we are going to be rocking out a arms and abs workout today, you guys. It is 30 minutes all about the arms and abs, using dumbbells, strength training focus, it will raise your heart rate a little bit, and you're gonna have options to do it seated with me since I injured my knee and tore my meniscus, or you can do it standing with Rachel, okay? So we're just gonna show you standing. There'll be options to move to the floor at some point too, we'll move to the floor. Lots of options. You can totally take this at your pace. You can make it beginner. You can follow along with me from seated. But actually, arm exercises are harder when you're sitting because you can't use your legs at all. Or you decide. It's all about how heavy you're going to use the weights. Okay, so it's all about weights. It's super set format, which means we're really going to dig into each muscle group and burn it out. It's going to be a ton of fun. Anyway, this workout is brought to you in partnership with Now. If you've been following along with Nourish Move Love for any amount of time, you know we love Now and their supplements. They have sports nutrition. They have natural food products. They also have natural beauty care products. Okay. So I fall in love with all their products. I started with the supplements really. And those are still things I take every day. I've been taking their prenatals since I had Brody, who's my third baby, my oldest. He's five now. So for like six years, I've been taking their prenatals. I love their vitamin D. Also love their Zima caps, which is zinc, magnesium, and B vitamins for muscle recovery. So we'll link some of my personal favorite supplements that I take. The protein powder is also a big hit in this house for both me and my husband. We'll link some of our favorites in Instagram stories and in the YouTube description associated with this video, you guys, okay? So huge thanks to our brand partners now for making this workout possible. And we are pumped to get this party started. Yeah, right? I'm so excited. You guys, this is the last workout, the last live workout in my old home. This is the last live workout in my old home. We move over to a new home this week, tomorrow, 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 <laughs> Crazy. tomorrow. You know, <laughs> if I were to give anyone some life advice, don't tear your meniscus while you have three children ages five and under while running a business and moving to a new home. It's wild, okay? <laughs> Not good for your mental health, but you know what is good for your mental health? Moving your body and strength training. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get those endorphins pumping. I know I need them today. <laughs> I wouldn't be working out if it wasn't for you guys, so I'm excited to be here. Let's see who's joining us. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Christy. Ingrid, awesome. Nice work. Walk in the outdoors. Not sure what your name is, but I hope we're both feeling well. We are. We are ready to get this party started, you guys, and awesome. We have you joining us. Thank you for this workout. It's going to save you after work today. Yes, lots of good options. And you know what? I've been amazed how many people have a knee injury. So this is a great option if you have a knee injury. Even if you don't have any injury at all, this is a really solid upper body workout. So you ready to get started, Rachel? I just realized you need a timer. So why don't you start? Oh, my goodness. Thank you. And it's sitting up over there. I need both of them. Great. Great. That's where my brain's at today. Too many things happening in life right now. Okay, let me tell you what the workout is. It's 30-minute arms and abs. It looks like this. You have six circuits. Each circuit is going to attack a muscle group superset style, okay? So we're going to go back, biceps, shoulders, chest, triceps, and then we're going to burn it out with a complete arm cir circuit. You get two exercises per circuit, and you're going to go for 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, times three sets. So we're really going to crank through these circuits. It's the back-to-back -back format, short rest periods. That's really going to hit you that muscle fatigue. Make sure you have a couple sets of dumbbells by you. Originally, we said we we're going to add bands to this. We decided to keep it simple and just use weight. So just dumbbells for this one. Awesome. Nice work. Here, can I help you? Sorry, this yeah. iPad is like seven years old. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't function very well. <laughs> we got the timer started. Nice work, you guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves, and then I'll set our timers once we get going here. Okay, I'm going to start in my seated position. I got to keep this leg locked out straight. It's my surgery leg. We're almost two and a half weeks post-surgery. We're back and roll almost three weeks post-surgery. Rachel's yeah. going to show you from standing. Okay, you choose what works for you. Let's just go ahead and take a couple shoulder rolls. Who needs some big inhale and exhale shoulder rolls today? I know I do. Life is just a little like goose frava. What's that from? Is that like a movie? Like, mm. I need some like, open. I need some yoga in my life. I'm not a very slow, calm person. I can use some of that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and go side by reaches. So you're gonna reach overhead, overhead. If you got the chair with me, you can reach side to side. I'm using this box. I love this plyo box. So functional. You can use it for so many things. Awesome. By not having the back on the chair, it's going to increase my core engagement. I can sit back, get a little bit more core, but you can always just use a good old folding chair, guys. Go four, go three, go two, go one, flap your wings. Just flap it out, flap it out, flap it out. That should feel good. Get that blood pumping. Nice. Awesome job, you guys. From here, we're going to go into some good warnings. Okay, so I got one leg straight, one leg bent. If you could bend your legs, you could go both legs bent. Rachel's going to go standing right here, hands behind the head. Hinge, hinge, hinge at the hips. 
and bring it up. Warming up the back, the spine. Nice work. Right here, hinge and stand, right? Good morning. Nice way we often warm up the lower body with the hamstrings, but it also is going to hit your low back and it's going to target that core and your spine, which are going to be very important for today's workout. Bracing yourself for this arms abs workout. Nice. Go three. Awesome job. Go two. Last one. Hold it here. Hold at the bottom. Take those arms. Reach them straight out. You're going to go thumbs up to the ceiling. Straight out. 45 to the side. Straight up. 45 to the side. Nice work. Straight up. 45 to the side. Awesome. Up. 45 to the side. Two more. Up. 45 to the side. Last one. Go up. 45 to the side. Nice. Sit back up. Reach those arms overhead. Just pull and pull as if you had a resistance band. Pull down and down. Squeeze those lats, that upper body, largest muscle in your upper body, your back. Go eight, seven, six. We're going to add some weights in four, three, two. We're going to add some weights to your upper body warm up. I'm going to start light. I'm going to grab my 10 pounds, right? You can go five, you got 10, whatever you got. This is just your warm up round, okay? Right here, you're gonna take it, palms up. We're gonna go rotator cuff style, palms up. Hold that bicep curl halfway. Open and close. Open and close. Warming up that rotator cuff for the shoulders. Nice. We're gonna get after those shoulders today, as we always do with upper body. Go four. Nice work. Go three. Awesome job. Go two and one. I'm gonna take my weights right here. Palms are gonna go in. We're gonna go alternating punches. So punch and punch. Palms stay facing in towards each other. You're going to feel just a slight change as we switch those palms. Go four, three, two. Now rotate the palm down, down. So twist it. Knuckles to me. Palm goes down to the floor. Palm to the floor. Palm to the floor. A little bit more rotation there. A little bit more shoulder. Nice. Go four, go three. We're going to go palms up in two and one. Take those palms, flip them up right here. Now punch and punch. Palms are up towards that ceiling. Finish. Eight, Seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. How are you feeling, Rachel? The warm up was Woo! spicy, Lizzie. right? When you add weights to your warm up, it gets spicy. All right, grab some water. We're going to jump in. First circuit, guys. Actually, let's go for some jacks, Rachel. You want to do some jacks? I'm going to show you. This is my, this is my chair cardio I've been doing right here. I've been going open and push. Open and push. Out, up, out. Up chair cardio, guys. Should we bring it? You want to see some chair cardio from all my injured friends that are in this season of life with me? Nice. Go four. Woo! Go three. We're gonna break a sweat today. Go two. Awesome. Last one. Nice work. Oh, I'm gonna look back at the season of life and laugh one day. I really am. But when you're in it, it's not so funny. Okay, I'm gonna start with a 20 pound wave. We're gonna go heavy. Let me get that timer started. We're starting on the back. It's a single arm bent over row. So grab whatever weight it is you want to use for your back. Single arm bent over row. Go heavy here, guys. You can always try and double up those weights. You can even add a resistance band if you needed to. Where's my Tabata Pro timer? You guys, I get asked that all the time. The timer I like to use is Tabata Pro. Megan's not here to run our timer today because she's in Mexico. She's on her honeymoon. On her honeymoon. So I'm going to run the timer to the best of my ability right here while we do this. All right, you guys, Tabata Pro Timer. If you're ever looking at home to set your own timer, Tabata Pro Timer is a rock star. Dumbbell, right hand, single arm row. So for me, I'm just going to hinge forward and do it right here from a seated position. I'm going to stay bent over. Rachel's going to go be bent over. Okay, we go in three, two, it's 30 seconds. You're going to do each set three times. So we're going to go once on the right, once on the left, and then we're going to double it up with two weights, right? Go heavy here, guys. Go heavy. It's a single arm row. Come on, keep that core nice and tight. You can place that opposing hand right there on your stomach. It's 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You got it. From here, we're going to do a fun move. Typically, we're going to go strength, and then we're going to go a little bit more into a core move. This is arms and abs. Nice. Right here for five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Can you can rest and recover? I'm going to go down to my 15 for this move. Rachel's going to stay heavy. It's a swing, dumbbell swing. So you're going to hinge and swing, hinge and swing. I'm going to do it from C to three, two. Let's go. Hinge and swing. Can still do this from a seated position. Yes, you can. Look at this. And why are we doing swings? You're like, wait, swings are for the hamstrings and the glutes. Hello, low back. We are working back today. And your low back is definitely engaged. So we hit the upper back on the row, low back on the swing. A little bit of core in there too. Yes. Come on, low back and core. Right here. You got it. Swing it out. Go five, four, three, two, and one.
long. Been finding fun, new, unique ways to get my heart rate up from You get so creative. I love that. So creative. Dumbbell over to the left. Single arm row. 30 seconds in three, two. Let's go. Single arm row. Come on. Single arm row on that left arm. Remember, I'm pulling just where elbow meets the rib cage. Slow control lower down. Nice. Shoulders stay square to the ground. None of this yanking and opening stuff, really. A slow, controlled, focused movement right here, guys. Nice work. Come on. Yes, you can. Let's roll right here. 10 seconds. This is where it should start to feel hard. If it doesn't, you got to increase those weights. Let's go. Final five, four, three, two, one more, because you can back to those swings. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on my swings because I'm using more arms than I am legs, like I typically would from standing. Swing it in three, two, let's go. Hinge and swing. If you're with me, it's kind of like a little hike, a little hike and swing. Nice. Nice. Just coming right up to the top, driving through those heels if you're standing. If you're with me, you're just coming right up to the top. We're not overextending, right? Just bringing that weight right up to eye level, shoulder level. Come on. Round two of three. We double up those rows. Double up those rows. Grab two weights, one in each hand. Double up. Come on. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. You're going to grab two weights. You're going to double up. Both arms row for 30 seconds. Third and final set. Both arms row. Yes. Are you with me? We go in three, two. Let's go. Both arms row. Nice. Row. Squeeze that back. Pull it up right here. Up. Nice work. Nice work. Come on. You got it. Awesome job. Maybe you can go heavier on those single arm rows because you're focusing on one side at a time. Maybe go a little bit lighter for the double. That's okay. You do you. Come on. 10 seconds here, guys. Let's go. Squeeze. Slow control. Lower. Nice work. Final five. Four, three, two, one. Those 30 seconds go fast, don't they? Last time on the swings, last time on the swings, closing out our back circuit, circuit one. Right here we go in three, two, let's go. Hinge, swing, hinge, swing. Come on, right here. You got it, you got it. 30 seconds, closing out back. Arms and abs right here. We're moving on to biceps. Biceps are next. Nice work, nice work. Gonna get after those pull muscles and then the push muscles. You got it, right here. Finish it, nice. Come on, 10 seconds. Swing it and swing it. Awesome job, go five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, dumbbells can go down, off to the side. Awesome job, grab some water. That is circuit one. Circuit two is biceps. We flew through that. 30 seconds goes fast, but I like the superset format. How are we doing? Nice work, you guys. Look at all the people that are joining us. Nice work. Welcome, Laura. Nice work, you guys. How we doing? Nice work, nice work. Whew. How did I tear my meniscus? Oh, isn't that the question of the hour? <laughs> Who wants to know? How did I tear my meniscus? I'll tell you when we're doing biceps. Let's move on. Biceps. Grab your weights. Okay, I'm going to go down to 15s here for my curls. 15s. First one is just a good old curl. We're going to start palms facing out, so palms face out. Who saw the reel about the biceps, right? Elbows off the body, slightly in front or in line with the body, not back here. Back here puts pressure on the shoulders, right here. We're just gonna curl for 30 seconds. Curls are harder seated, holy bananas. All right, guys, 30 seconds of curling. We go in three, two, one. All the way up, all the way down. Slow control curls. Exhale up, inhale lower. Exhale up, inhale lower. Nice work. Okay, so how did I tear my meniscus? Well, we were, we had a full day shoot, filming workout videos, right? We were supposed to film five workouts. My son had a double ear infection. The week before that, my daughter was puking. The week before that, Brody was home from school. Like, we just had sick kids. Kids home. Mom has not slept right here for four, three, two, and one. Nice work. What do I have? Palm up punches. Oh my gosh, I might need to drop my tent. You're going to hold halfway. You're going to punch and punch like we did in the warm up. Yes, that's where we go. In three. Two, let's go. How many exercises will it take me to get through before I tell the story? <laughs> if you're with me seated, now the farther I sit back, the more that core is going to turn on. Half curl with a punch out. Shoulders and biceps right here. Come on. And we were there. I walked out the door. My husband literally said, man, you look so tired today. I hope you don't get hurt. <laughs> I called back in the shoot. I was like, no. It happened. Literally, though, you guys, we had filmed three workouts. Nice work. Go five, four, three, two. And when I told you it was going to burn, I might be seated, but it's still going to burn. Bicep curls back to hammer, so palms are going to face in. Palms are going to face in. I think it's going to take three or four exercises. That's kind of good. Keep your mind occupied. Keep your mind occupied. Let's go. Hammer curl. Hammer curl. Palms stay facing in, right? 
Palms stay facing in. Nice work. Hitting the long head of the bicep here on this hammer curl, short head on the supine curl. Woo! Come on. Here we go, guys. All right. So we had done three workouts. I was super tired. I was sitting on the ground, taking a break. I was like, all right, come on, buck up. We're going to do this. Workout number four. I got up off the ground and there she went. There was it. I was like, what just happened? Four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas, biceps, palms up, punches. I'm dropping to my lighter weights. It's going to be tough. You're going to hold that half curl, palms face up towards the ceiling, punch it out. We're going three, two. Let's go. If you're with me, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to get that core. Come on. You can always take this down to the ground, whether you want to or not, whether you have to or not. Let's go. Punch it out. So that's what happened. I was getting up off the ground, guys. Thing is, my doctor told me I'm kind of in the trifecta. So I am one year postpartum after multiple. So typically between six and eight months is when you start to go harder in your workouts. You're tired. You got hormones. Relaxing. You've had a couple of babies. Four, three, two, one. Holy bananas. All right, now you're going to choose supine or hammer. Pick your poison. What do you like better? I'm going to go hammer. I like hammer better. Yeah, what really do you like better, Rachel? I might do a combo. Okay. I might do supine up, hammer Ooh. down. I like it. Oh, I like the combo. I'm going to alternate. My biceps are tired. I'm going to go alternate hammers right here. So I kind of hit the trifecta. Okay, not sleeping causes more musculoskeletal injuries. Did you know it doubles your chances? Paired with, I played college volleyball, probably had a couple small tears, small tears, small tear, and this was just kind of the tear that broke the camel's back, got relaxed in my body, got hormones going on. I don't know, there's a lot happening in life right now. <laughs> Three, two, let's go, palms up. Last time on the biceps, palms up. Last time you're gonna punch it out. Last time you're gonna punch it out. Here we go, palms up in three, two, Let's go, but we're filming our New Year's program, Strong in 20, and, and I'm gone. so pumped about it. 20 minutes a day, five days a week, strength training. I, we haven't told anybody. I just oh. sleep. I just oh. sleep. Surprise. Surprise. If you join the live, you find out what the New Year's program is. You find out what the New Year's program is. It's stinking awesome. And we finished it because we filmed the extra two workouts. You're going to have to guess which ones I filmed on the torn meniscus. <laughs> Woo! That's something. Oh, it makes a good story. Five, four, three, two. One, who is glad those are over? Uh, Woo! Nice work, you guys. Shoulders, shoulders, as if your shoulders aren't warm by now. <laughs> yeah, we were cold when we walked in here. Not anymore. Right, I was like, let's wear long sleeves today. I'm cold. Holy bananas, I'm sweating now. Shoulders, shoulders. I got a fun new move for you guys. My first shoulder move. This is a fun new one. I'm really pumped about it. So excited to be here. We're so excited to have you, Chris. Nice work, Sue, saving this for after you have foot surgery. See, I'm not alone. Oh, no. Got this, Chris. We're gonna do it together. All right, shoulders. This is a fun new move. I'm gonna start off with my tens again because it's a challenging move, right? You're gonna go lat raise, half curl, two punches. It looks like this. Lat raise, half curl, punch, punch. Take it down. One lat raise, half curl, punch, punch. Holy I know. shoulders. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be on fire, you guys. All right, we go. In three, in two, let's go. Lat raise, half curl, punch right, left. Take it down. Lat raise, half curl. On that lat raise, think about leading with your pinkies. Lead with your pinkies. There we go. Curl it up, punch, punch. Just at shoulder height. Lead with the pinkies. Oh my gosh, three sets of this. <laughs> Woo! Brutal. I told you, I might be hurt, but I can still write a workout that is just gonna burn, baby, burn. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna have to close the eyes and grit the teeth on that one. And we go to our favorite, one of our favorite moves, you guys, one of our favorite moves. You're gonna grab one weight right here. We'll start weight, weight in the right hand. Right hand, left hand comes to meet it. If you've done some of our fun workouts, you know what's coming. It's the chop, single arm press. Rachel's gonna give you a little dip drive. She's got a heavier weight. She's gonna give you a push press. I'm seated, I can't do that. You're gonna chop and push. Just your right arm's gonna push. We'll go right, we'll go left, we'll go double. Yes, 30 seconds. Rack it on the right shoulder in three, two, let's go. Chop, left, push, right. Chop, left, push, Right, abs, arms, abs, woo, arms. Get a couple back cracks out of this one usually. <laughs> oh my gosh, hello, shoulders. These seated exercises, I'm gonna have the most ripped shoulders around. Woo, five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo, woo, lat raise, half curl, punch, punch. Let's go, lat raise, half curl, punch, punch. Going back to the tens, wishing I had fives. Three, <laughs> two, let's go. Lead with the pinkies. Half curl, jab, jab. Nice. 
Take it down. Lat raise. Woo! Half curl. Jab, jab. Always coming up with fun new combos to keep you coming back for more, even when I'm in a chair, guys. I was gonna say, isn't your pregnancy one up to me? Those are some of the hardest, too. You get so creative, it burns. It burns, baby. Come on. Five, four, three. We're gonna do one more lat raise. Two, one. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go. Rack it on the left shoulder. Chop right, push left. Chop right, push left. In three, in two. Let's go. Chop right, push left. Chop right, push left. Nice work. Chop right. I love this one. I'm gonna think. I just. I love this one. I, I too. We should build it into every sink and arms now workout we have. It's just a fun move. Ooh, come on. Yes, you. I think since I've been doing chair workouts, you've heard my husband's heard more grunting come from upstairs. He's like, "What is going on?" I'm like, ah, these shoulders. Four, three, two, one. They're gonna be so strong. Boulder shoulders. Boulder shoulders. I'm going to be that disproportionate guy who's really buff up top, <laughs> no, tiny little didn't. legs. Okay, here we go. In three, two, let's go. Lat raise. Come on, last time you're going to do it. Half curl, punch, punch. It's crazy muscle dystrophy. How fast you yeah. lose muscle when you don't look. Oh, my quad in my leg is just shriveling. But that's okay. We're going to come back with some killer leg workouts. Lots of knee friendly exercises. Woo, and lots of ways. To strengthen. Oh my goodness, I am dying, Rachel. I am dying. Holy so shit. Taking bananas. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, now you're going to keep the weight like this. You're going to chop, push, and pass. Let's start on the right shoulder. Three, two, let's go. Chop left, push, pass. Chop right, push, pass. Chop left, push, pass. Shoulder to shoulder. Come on, right here. Third set is the best set. It's the final set. Who's excited to be done with shoulders? Me? Oh, thank goodness. Me. Me. Woo! Chop. Push pass. Chop. Push pass. You got it. Come on. Let's finish it right here. Five, four, three, two, one more. Chop, and you're out. Nice work, you guys. There we go. Nice work. Rachel's going to help me move this box out of the way, and we're going to go on to chest, guys. Okay, chest, if you have to stay seated, you're simply going to incline back. You're going to be an incline chest press. If you do have a folding chair, use the back of that chair, lean on it. It's like an incline bench, right? Otherwise, if you're with Rachel and I, we're going to take it down to the ground. We're going to take it down to the ground and make this fun. We're going to make it fun. I'm going to try my 20. My shoulders are smoked. I'll keep the face straight here by me. I'm going to try 20. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm pregnant again. Watch me get down to the ground with a straight leg. Okay. okay. I feel like I'm pregnant again. There she goes. Okay, here we go. We made, made it. it. We made it. Chest press. One dumbbell though. I'm going to try and go 20. You're going to do a single arm chest press because it's arms and abs, so you're really going to engage your. Now, if you need to, you can keep your legs on the ground. If you want to make it harder, you float the legs. Mine's got to stay straight. Rachel can bend at 90 degrees. Let's take the dumbbell in your right hand. It's a single arm chest press. I'm going to put my left arm up to meet it. Down. And up. You see, as I go down, you're going to see these hips waver. The goal is to keep your hips square. Keep that core turned on. Adding weight on one side of the body is what makes this truly challenging, you guys. 30 seconds, right arm only. 30 seconds, right arm only. In three, two, let's go. Now, if you're like, I got light weights, this doesn't challenge me, go ahead, double them up, and just go for a double chest press right away. Inhale down, exhale. Do you feel as you lower that opposing hip trying to pop off that mat? Your goal is to keep both hips on that mat. Inhale down, exhale, push. Inhale down, exhale, push. Hello, arms and abs. They are turned on chest and core right here. Yes, you can. Come on. Nice work. You're in it for five, four, three, two. Give me one more because you can. Take that dumbbell. Hold each head of the weight in one hand. You're going to give me a single dumbbell chest press, floor press, and then you're going to reach up for those toes. Legs are straight up above you. We go in three, two. Let's go. Down, up. Reach for the toes. Down, up, reach for the toes. Chest, shoulder, low abs, upper abs, right there. Really hitting the upper abs when you lift that neck and shoulders up off the mat. Reach for those toes. Attack it, guys. Come on, up. Let's go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. You got it. Down, up, push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Woo! Dumbbell, left hand, dumbbell, left hand, okay? 
single arm chest press, other side in three, two, let's go. Inhale down, exhale push. Ooh, challenging to keep those hips. Square, 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 don't let it pop off. Ooh, that's hard, especially with this heavier weight. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, yes you can. Challenge yourself wherever you're at today. Doesn't matter what season of life, you be as strong as you can be in this moment, right? We all have limitations. We all have something we're facing. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Same thing. One dumbbell press. <laughs> this leg just stays up. One dumbbell press. Reach for the toes. Okay, grab each other the bicep. We go or each other the bicep. Dumbbell. Three, two. Let's go. Push up. Reach for those toes. Down. Up. Reach for the toes. Down. Up and reach. Nice work, you guys. Come on. This is an awesome strength workout, all about the arms and the abs, super set style, short rest periods equals muscle fatigue. How are you feeling, Rach? I was gonna say, this is one of the workouts I probably should have argued for 15 second rest. <laughs> Come on, five, four, three, two, and you're out, nice. Now we're gonna double it up. I'm gonna drop down to my 15s, double up the chest press, okay? Double it up, double up the toe touch. Woo, how are we doing? Nice work. Rachel's always in your guys' corner. Always <laughs> I got in your guys' corner. She's always telling me, like, that's just a little bit too bananas, Lindsay. <laughs> a little bit too bananas. Here we go. Here we go. Double chest press in three, two, let's go. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale, push. Down and push. You got it. Inhale and push. Come on. Yes, you can. Last set on that chest. You want to get better at push ups? Right here. This is where you build that upper body chest strength. Come on, let's go. Yes, you can. Final five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to keep the double, Rachel. We're going to keep the double. It's one chest press. Reach for the toes with two weights. If you can, always drop down to the single if you need to. We go in three, two, let's go. Push up, reach for those toes. Down, up, reach. Down, up. It's a crunch. You're getting the neck and shoulders off the ground. Crunch it up, woo! Down, up, crunch it. Down, up, crunch it. Woo, this is where you really gotta squint those eyes. Grit that teeth, get your neck and shoulders up. Let's go, come on, finish. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Nice, stinking work, you guys, awesome job. We're gonna stay right here, seated on the ground. Stay right here, seated on the ground. We're gonna go on to triceps, guys. Triceps. Get that leg up and over. There we go. Look at that quad strength. It's coming back. Triceps, okay? Gonna go seated. We're gonna take a nice little V, a nice little wide leg seated. Okay? One dumbbell right here. Overhead. Bend, extend. You ever done triceps from a seated position like this? Brutal. It's harder, I promise. You can take them standing if you want to, but I encourage you to try this. Seated exercises has taught me. How hard they sink an arm. Okay, triceps, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do an awesome core move. Yes, we're pumped. Let's get after those triceps. Overhead, take these weights out of the way. Weights everywhere. Okay, overhead triceps, 30 seconds, yes? You in? Come on, team. Let's do you it. You have two circuits left. You have triceps, and then a total arm circuit. Tricep and total arms, finish it. We go in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, hide it. Show it, hide it, show it. This is easier than the unilateral arms, right? Where we did one arm at a time. That was brutal. That was tough. Come on, unilateral arms. Still one of the workouts I've been coming back to. I love it. Nice work. You got it. Come on, 10 seconds. That's where the weight should start to feel heavy. If it doesn't, up those weights, guys. Come on, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Good news, you're gonna drop the weights for the core portion, okay? Right here. You're gonna test that quad strength. Opposite hand, opposite toe. Opposite hand, opposite toe. We'll start right here in three, two, let's go. Reach, reach. So you're flexing your quad, toes to the face, opposite hand, opposite toe. The straighter the leg, the harder it is. You can always bend at the knees if you need to, if you have that option, okay? You wanna make it harder, give me the full crunch. Down, up and reach. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. You got it. 10 seconds, let's go, right here. Stay with me, go, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys, back on triceps, overhead. 
Overhead, overhead tricep extensions. Yes, we go in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, hide it and show it. What I mean by that, if I'm looking in a mirror, I'm thinking, hide the dumbbell and show it. Hide it and show it. I'll tell you what, Rachel. Rachel came over today, she's like, how you doing? I'm like, life is just so hard right now. I'm feeling so much better already. Feel those endorphins kicking in. I'm so pumped to be here with you today. Let's go. Come on, final five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Ha! <laughs> Baby triceps, opposite toe, opposite hand. I'm gonna try and go all the way back for the crunch. Yes, we go in three, two, let's go. Take it down, opposite the hand, opposite toe. Your pace, your tempo. I don't know if it's just like all the emotions like moving or if it's like trying to parent and trying to move with a broken leg, waking up in pain every day. There's just a lot happening. There's a lot. But it's yeah. kind of nostalgic, you guys. This is like the last night workout we're filming in this house. And this is where my business this is where was it all built. started. This is where I brought all three of my babies home. I mean, this is where all the iPhone workouts, this is where they started. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo! How are we doing now? So I don't have the strongest hip flexors around. I was just I thinking that. Oh my yeah. God. Welcome to the chair workout life. My hip flexors are rocking. My shoulders are rocking. Woo! It's good. Right? It's good. You do your best with what you got. Do your best. Forget the rest. That has just been on replay in this head. We go in three, two, go. Oh, come on. Bend, extend. It's your third and final set on these tiny stinking triceps. Let's make them big and strong. I'll tell you what, though. You know what this knee injury has taught me? I've never been so grateful that I have strength trained before this. Mm. I think I'm so much capable of being able to still carry my son in his car seat with my leg, put him on my hip, do all the things I still want to do as a mom. Five, four, three, two, and one. Because the muscle I currently have, right? So important, you guys. Strength training is so important, especially as we age. We go in three, two. Let's go. Helps our bone density. Woo! Come on. Helps our mental health. I was gonna, the mindset you have around it. Lindsay was saying her PT was like, he, you're not an usual patient, right? Right. Like, I came in and I'm like, okay, here's my quad. I've been flexing it since the moment I got out of surgery. How am I doing? He's like, who are you? And I literally, the funny story, 10 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Five. Woo! Four. Three. Two. And one. I was like, can I do push-ups in this frontal flexion? Can I do this? Can I do this? And he's like, what's going on? I showed up to my next appointment. He's like, so I Googled you. I'm like, yeah, I know workouts. He's like, yeah, I found you. I was like, I know. He's like, you're the crazy one. You're the crazy one. Okay, guys, try this down. You know what that means? We have one circuit left, and we're going to put everything we've done today all together. No burpees today, right? No crazy anything. We're going to put together in some fun moves. So we'll bring the box back in. How are we doing? How are we feeling? See, this is spicy and I love it. Yes, Alyssa, that lat raise combo. We're going to bring it back. I think so. We're going to bring it back. I'm so blessed to be joining you. Oh, we're so happy you're here from seated to standing, right? Never going to be, never going to be a dull moment around here, guys. Okay, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Grab the weight. Grab the weight. Let's see. Can I do this? I'm going to try We'll try 20s. We'll it's go. only 30 seconds. It's only 30 seconds. Here we go. You're going to start with the dumbbell on the right hand. You're going to do the bent over row into a curl, into a press. So it looks like this. Give me one row, curl, push. 30 seconds. 30 seconds on the right. 30 seconds on the left. Then we double it up again. Okay, that's your first move. Second move. Woo, an uneven march. I like this move. Really pumped about it. I'm going to challenge that core. Challenge those quads again, too. All right, 30 seconds. One arm, row, curl, press. Row, curl, press. Yes, you ready, Rach? Let's go. Search it out. Six, circuit six. Here we go, whatever you got left, guys, right here. We go in three, two, let's go. Give me the row. Get up, curl, push. Nice, hinge, row, up, curl, push. You gotta come on 30 seconds to get this right arm to fatigue. Row, come on, curl, push. Get after those weights, let's go. You're strong. You're capable right here. You can for five, for four, three, two. You're out. Nice work. Nice work. I'm gonna drop down. Right here, you're gonna take weights. Let's go. Right arm up. Left arm wrapped right here. Uneven march. Rachel's gonna march. I'm giving you straight leg lifts because that's what I got. Three, two, let's go. Lock up that right arm. Left weight is at the shoulder. And you're marching or you're leg lifting. Squeeze those quads if you're with me. 
Bring that knee right up in line with that hip if you're with Rachel. Four, shoulders, back. It's all turned on right here, you guys. These are all the important muscles that are gonna keep you moving even when you get injured. Your core, it's your foundation. 10 seconds, come on. Yes, you can. It's five, four, three, two, you're out. Nice work, you guys. One dumbbell over to that left arm. Row curl press on the left, row curl press on the left. Let's go, right here in three, in two. Let's go, let's go, row, curl, push. Nice work, hinge, row, curl, push. Nice work, let's go, come on. It's your chance to get after that left arm right here. Hinge, row, curl, push. Yes, you got it. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Could you stick with that heavy weight? Yes, you can. Four, three, two, you're out. On even the other side, left arm's gonna shoot overhead. Right arm's gonna be racked at the shoulder, straight leg with me, bent knee with Rachel. Here we go, lock it down. Three, two, let's go. You're gonna lift or march, you decide. Come on, come on. Lock out that left arm. Woo, you got it. Let's go. 30 seconds, right here, circuit six. We're crushing it. You got one more round after this, guys. One more round and you're in the cool down. You're in the cool down. Woo! Come on. Stay with it. You got this. Final five, four, three, two. You're out. Nice work. You're going to double up those weights. You're going to double up those weights. It is a row, curl, press, two weights, one in each hand. We go in three. We go in two. Let's go. Let's go. Row, curl, push. Final circuit, row, curl, push, let's go. Whatever you got left right here, come on. Turn it up, turn it up, finish it. Back, five, shoulder, put it together. Back, five, shoulder, like I said, we're all gonna have boulder shoulders. Woo, come on. It's five, four, three, two. You're gonna finish this one and you're out, nice work. Awesome job. You can take one dumbbell overhead. You can take two dumbbells overhead. Straight leg or bad knee. Let's march it. Up and up. Yeah, Rachel with the Here double. Go. Finish it. Rachel with the double. Woo! Come on. You got this. Let's go. Ready, guys? 20 seconds. This is it. All you got. Bring it home. Stay with me. Yes, you can. Come on. Final 10. Let's go. Go for 10. Nine, eight, you got this, seven, stay with it, six, yes, you can, final five, four, three, two, and one, woo! Holy bananas, that was spicy on the Whoa. shoulders. How are you guys feeling at home? I hope you love this workout, awesome job, nice work, Jan, nice work, Maggie, awesome job, Emily, Alyssa, combo was killer, right? It's a back to back, woo, that's super set style, you guys crushed it. So sick and proud of you. How many people tuned in for the workout and didn't? How many people tuned in to be like, she's got a broken leg, what's she doing? <laughs> right? I'm guessing we had like how many people are like, I'm confused. What is she gonna do? There's always a way to make it work, you guys. We are gonna keep working out. We're gonna keep staying strong over here, okay? Keep challenging you. We're gonna be back with, I think, we're gonna try going full body next time as my leg starts to get stronger again. Stay tuned for live workouts. You can always hit subscribe on our email newsletter to find out when we're going live next, okay? And a special shout out again to Now Foods for not sponsoring this workout. So grateful. We'll link some of our favorite products in Instagram and the video associated with this. Let's just flop it out right here. Woo! And discount codes. And now, oh yeah, the we have awesome promos going on right yes. now. Yes. So normally, if you use code NML, you're going to get a twenty percent. Is it ten or twenty? I think it's twenty. Twenty percent discount on Now products, but they have steeper discounts for the holidays. So we're going to link those new promo codes for you. New promo codes. Let's go up and over. Just reach. Nice, up and over on the other side. We'll link the new promo codes in Instagram and the YouTube description associated with this. You can get some steeper discounts for the holidays. We all love that. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, baby, back bend. Take the hands right to the flat of your back and then just open up the chest, the shoulders. Think about spreading the chest muscles apart right here. Nice, from here, take your neck and roll it side to side. There we go, side to side. Woo, 
last workout in this house. Aww. Who knows? Maybe we'll come back. We're keeping the house and renting it out because we can't part with it. We love the home so much. Let's swap it again. So maybe we'll come back when it's like empty in between renters and film a workout just for nostalgia purposes. While well, the renters are here. While well, the renters are here. Maybe they'll join. Right? So all my neighbors are like, what is the crazy lady across the street doing? She's finally gone. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So here, let's just go. Let's go for a forward fold because that's going to feel good too. We've got a lot of low back with those swings in. So right here, you're going to have a big inhale, reach up. Exhale if you're with Rachel, forward fold. If you're with me, you're just going to reach those toes. Now take your right hand and reach for your left toe, a little side body. Walk your hands over. That should feel really good. Just opening up that low back. Same thing, other side. Take the left hand, reach for the right toe. Nice little side body stretch. That should feel so stinking good. Nice work. Awesome job. Bring it back up all the way up to top. Let's go. Right arm out, left arm follows. Pull those shoulder blades apart. Push to me. Round out the back. Reverse and interlace the fingers behind the back. Bring up for my final favorite stretch. Pull the chest apart. Take the hands over to the right hip. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Switch out. Take it all the way back. Hands come over to the left hip. Gaze goes over the right shoulder. Flap it out one more time. And you guys are out of here. That is your arms and abs strength training workout. You can do anything from a seated or standing position. You guys are awesome. Thanks for giving me. I'm just so stinking grateful for this community, keeping me motivated and keeping me accountable, even in those seasons of life that are just like this, right? Okay. It is a journey. All right. You guys are so awesome. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned. We got lots of fun stuff coming up for the holidays. If you haven't yet, drop a subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter so you can stay up to date with us. We'll be dropping lots of fun stuff for the holidays. And you guys found out the New Year's program. It's coming. You heard it here first. Pumped. You heard it first. You heard it first. We'll see you guys live again, I think, sometime soon. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us on Instagram. You guys rock. Rachel rocks. Yeah, she Aww, does. Thanks. We love her. So glad you caught it live, Joni. We are too. Awesome work. Nice work, you guys. Thanks for joining us. Woo! Love you guys, and this is going to stay live, okay? So you can come back and do it again. Nice work. Awesome job on the YouTube. You guys just made my day. Awesome workout. Thank you so much. Oh, we got a super chat. Aww. Thank you, Joelle Jensen. Thank you. She dropped $5. You guys know that if you love our workouts, we're so grateful. And it's an opportunity to say thanks back to us. And you can do a super chat or a super thanks. So after the video goes live, you'll see a little dollar sign underneath the video here in the chat on the left or is this what is the side oh, side of my body <laughs> in the chat section of the live workout you'll see an opportunity you can super chat us and just drop a donation if you want we're so grateful that makes our day thank you so much joelle you're so awesome thanks for joining us and showing up thank you lisa great workout felt like it was you were way more aware of your core in a seated position right i've been feeling my core so much more i'm like i'm gonna have killer shoulders and killer abs after this it's awesome. Nice work, Norma. Awesome work, you guys. I'm so glad you joined us. Thanks so much for showing up no matter what. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you again really soon. Have a great day.